India wants to become a hub for building chips. What we call semiconductors, they're everywhere in our phones, in our cars, in our appliances, even in our weapons. So the potential is immense, which is why every country is rushing to capitalize. And I really believe that the opportunity for India's growth in the semiconductor industry is now. This is India's time to drive incredible growth. Semiconductors are playing a critical role in the world. It is our collective aim to establish India as one of the key partners in global semiconductor supply chain. February 2022, Vedanta and Foxconn have announced their legendary partnership to set up semiconductor manufacturing unit in India. Over $19.5 billion was to be invested in this joint venture over the period of time and factory was to be set up in Gujarat of India. Fast forward to 2023, Foxconn have announced they are no longer a part of this joint venture and Twin Star Technologies is now fully owned subsidiary of Vedanta Group. So the question is, is this the end of India's semiconductor dream? Is the government of India okay with this? And most importantly, what are the things you need to know before making any investment in this sector? So to answer all these questions, let us first understand what really are semiconductors and why suddenly semiconductors have become such a hot commodity that not only created tensions between US and China, but is also accountable for China-Taiwan conflict. So yaar, as you know, semiconductors kuch aise dikhte hai, and they are used in your smartphones, your computers and it is the same chip that facilitates automatic functioning of your car. Same is being used in jets and almost all sorts of gadgets you use. So now we are familiar with the importance of semiconductors in this world full of technological advancements. But the world leaders have already realized it very earlier and that is why they have formed something called the Quad Alliance with India, US, Japan and Australia in it. And the goal is to secure the supply chain of semiconductors and other 5G telecom technologies. And this is because China is trying to take over Taiwan and indirectly 60% market share of semiconductors. As Taiwan supplies 60% of world's total semiconductors and they made some of the finest chips in the world. And guys, you remember the incident when Nancy Pelosi of US visited Taiwan, China literally bokla gaya tha. Cause they don't want anyone to stop them from capturing this industry. Okay, enough of geopolitics. Let's now discuss what really went wrong with Foxconn Vedanta joint venture and where is India's semiconductor dream heading. So guys, Vedanta Group is an Indian natural resources conglomerate and they are involved in aluminium, zinc, iron ore, steel, copper, oil and gas and other natural resources extraction business. And their speciality is to harness India's abundant natural resources in the most efficient manner. Foxconn on the other side is a Taiwanese multinational electronics contract manufacturer company and they are involved in production of electronic products for various companies like iPhones for Apple, Kindle for Amazon, Pixel for Google and many more. So yeah, both Foxconn and Vedanta had no previous experience in manufacturing semiconductors and that is why they needed a technology partner to provide them know-how and license for manufacturing nanochips. Unfortunately, they were not able to find any technology partner and secondly, according to sources, Foxconn was not very happy with huge debt of Vedanta Group. These were the primary reasons for $19.5 billion breakup. What's next? Well, the government this time really wants to set a semiconductor manufacturing unit in India and that is why they have announced something called PLI scheme, Production Linked Incentive Scheme back in December 2021. And under the scheme, Government of India have announced huge 76,000 crore rupees worth of subsidy for setting up semiconductor and display manufacturing unit in the country. And along with bright future of India's semiconductor industry, this PLI scheme is what due to which Foxconn is not leaving India and is trying to find new partners to set up a manufacturing unit in the country. Vedanta on the other hand have said they have lined up partners for their semiconductor business and they are also willing to set a display manufacturing unit by 2025. So due to this $19.5 billion breakup, India's semiconductor dream is delayed but not denied. If you find this valuable, make sure to hit the like button. Do subscribe the channel if you haven't already. Also guys, I'd love to read your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind.